Alright, so y'all know I gotta tell y'all when I watch movies, right? I have to make a, a public service announcement. Hold on. BBC gang in it, bitch. <laughs> BBC gang in it, bitch. Oh, God. I don't do that WC. No, nobody want that white <laughs> Pink <laughs> No, nobody want that. We BBC what gang in it, no. I was completely wrong about liking Shrek 3. Shrek 2 is actually the better movie. I'm not going to lie. Shrek 2 is the better movie. I don't know what I was smoking when I said that. I don't know what I was smoking when I said that. But Shrek 2 is is this the better movie. Shrek Shrek 2 is the better movie. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm going to be honest, Shrek 3 is actually probably the worst one. I'm gonna, well no, not 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 maybe not the worst one, but it was not good as I remembered it. I don't know why I remembered it so differently than 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 how I would like how how like it actually was, bro. I don't know why I did that. You put it in core because it was very degrading. Oh lord, donkey, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all ever go watch, go watch Shrek one and watch Shrek two. Go watch Shrek one and watch Shrek two. You will see how like better upgraded the shit was. I watched all three Shreks last night, okay? And I'm not gonna lie, Shrek 1 got the most quotables. I will say that. Shrek 1 got the most quotables, but it looks so bad. It looks so bad, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It looks so horrible. Shrek 2 looks way better <laughs> than, 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 I, than, I, like, than I thought, bro. You have zero uh, memories of three? Exactly. Exactly. Literally, literally, I'm not gonna lie, Shrek 3. I don't know why I thought Shrek 3 was the best. When I really I went to go rewatch it, I'm like, nigga. They hold Shrek. The only thing I the only thing that you will probably remember is Shrek. That's when Shrek got Friona uh pregnant. And they was out here like Prince Charming was trash. Again, like, nah, bro. Shrek 3 was amazing. CC, what 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 Okay, name me one quotable. What? Name me one quotable moment from Shrek Three. And two. Okay, see now you dick. Now you dick eating that. The prince was so funny. Prince Charming was not funny in Shrek Three. I'm not gonna lie to you. Shrek was the best. The first one. Shrek Three is forgettable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's very. Shrek Three is very forget forgettable. I'm not gonna lie to you. Shrek One has the quotes. I think Shrek Two was the better movie though. Like overall, and Shrek 3, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why I was dick eating Shrek 3. I really was tripping. Maybe because I thought Shrek 3 was Shrek 2 because of certain scenes. But then I was like, wait. I rewatched Shrek 3, I was like, wait. Hold on. Hell no. <laughs> Is Shrek 3 where he tries to take over? Yeah, Shrek 3 is the one where uh, Prince Charming take, tries to take over a uh, far, far away village, whatever that shit was called. But it was like, bro, like, I, I don't know, bro. Like, I like the only thing I remembered before rewatching it was the prince dying, like the beginning. That's literally at the beginning, not the prince, but the, the king, the frog nigga. That's the only thing I remember. Then after rewatching, I'm like, wait, what the, f like, first of all, there's a lot of adult jokes in that movie. Not gonna lie. There's a lot of adult jokes in that movie, and on top of that, I'm like, I don't know, bro. What's going on with this? Like, this movie just not. This is not. It's not hitting how it, like I thought it did, bro. It's not. It's, just, it's just not hitting like I thought it would, bro. You just looked back at Shrek 2. Shrek 2 is better. Yes. Am I going to watch Shrek 5? See, that's the thing. There, that's the reason why I wanted to watch rewatch the Shreks, cause I'm like. I want to see what they're going to do for Shrek 5. And I'm like, hi, Key. I don't know what they're going to do for Shrek 5. I really don't. I really don't. Because now it's like, what are they going to do? Just up, like, like age up the kids now? Like, what are they going to do? Whatever Shrek uh, has uh, uh, the I Need a Hero scene is the best. It might be two. Yeah, that was, that was, that was two. That was two. Actually, no, I think that was the first one. I just watched this. How did I forget this? I think that was the first one. Because my thing was like, the first one was like, no. 
No, it was the second one. It was the second one. It was the second one. The I need a hero scene definitely was fired because when they had the gingerbread man, he's like, <laughs> when the gingerbread man went to go, it'll be like, do you still know the do you still know the muffin man? And he was like, you mean our jewelry lane? And then he makes the big ass. Then he makes the big ass. <laughs> Bro, and I'm okay. Also, I gotta retract one more statement. I'm not gonna lie, cause I don't know if y'all was here when I said this, but there was a quote that I said that Boots Boots had a lot of aura. You just watched a Quiet Place Day One, and it was a it was silly and a uh, horror. Understandable. I mean, to be fair, that was supposed to be a prequel though. But I do, okay, so I, I, I remember when I said, I said, Boots had a lot of aura. I'm not going to lie. After rewatching Shrek 2, that man's aura placement is, it's not, this, it's not, it, I don't feel like it's going to be the same. I ain't gonna lie to you. Shrek 5 is probably gonna, uh, uh, be like Mega Mind 2. See, but Mega, I don't, okay, this is based off of memory, though. Mega Mind 2 wasn't that bad, though. He kept talking about the fucking fairy godmother. No, the fairy godmother was the fairy godmother. The fairy godmother, like she funny. She she. I think she made the movie. I ain't gonna lie to you. Especially when she pressed uh the dad when they first like y'all remember the first like when they when the fairy godmother like like first like showed her true colors and she pressed the dad and had them like <laughs> like on some gangster shit had them into like the damn car or whatever and. <laughs> Bro, that whole scene was funny as hell to me. I'm just like, bro, these niggas is like, she really like dead ass pressing this man. He's supposed to be the king. How you gonna let the fairy godmother press you? You're supposed to be the king of the of the of the of the whole thing, and you're getting pressed by the fairy godmother. I guess, man, you got it, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. But no, Mega Mind, Mega Mind Two was. Wait, what happened in Mega Mind Two? I don't remember what happened in Mega Mind Two. I don't remember what happened to Mega Mind 2. The I Need a Hero scene is the best scene in all the Shrek movies. Not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Cause it was like awesome some Avenger shit. I'm not gonna lie. It was like awesome some Avenger shit. I would say the only one that probably rivals that is the 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 in Shrek 1, where Shrek goes first to save Fiona. I think that scene is also very funny. Cause literally it's just Shrek just mindlessly just like is a Shrek mindlessly like just like like beasting on the on the on the on the uh on on the on the uh, dragon and my favorite scene from that was when when donkey like first was like actually catching feelings for uh the the dragon and i'm just like <laughs> i don't i don't know what it was giving me but i feel like the dragon was about to do some like it really felt like the dragon was about to do some strange things with the with, with donkey bro like you know what i mean to be fair they do they do get freaky though, have five kids, so like I guess, bro. You think Mega Mind 2 was him being a good guy? Was it? I don't even really remember Mega Mind 2, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I don't even remember it like that, like that. I I promise you. Like I I I, I and I've seen it too. I've seen it, but I just don't really remember it like that. Mega Mind versus Doom Syndicate is Mega Mind 2. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I was really thinking like what is the best what is the what is the best DreamWorks movie though? What is the best DreamWorks movie though? Cause I had to think about that. I'm like, is Shrek the best DreamWorks movie? Mega Mind 2 was ins insanely bad. Really? Damn. I really don't remember Mega Mind 2 like that. Not because I not because not because I I thought it was bad. I just didn't generally just don't remember it. Like, it's the same thing with Shrek 3. Like I like I think Shrek 3 was like, like I thought I thought Shrek 3 was the best, and people and when we first had that discussion, people was like, "Are you tripping?" Shrek 3 was the, was one of the worst. I'm like, was it? But then I was like, wait, I might have misremembered it, and I thought Shrek 3 was actually Shrek 2. So I was like, okay, maybe I was bad, bro. maybe that was my fault. Maybe that was my fault. Flushed away is fire. They was trying to launch that bitch to the moon. Damn, Mega Man 2 was terrible. Mega Man 2 came out this year. Oh, it did. So maybe I'm misremembering. Cause didn't they have like a? Oh, you know what it was? I thought Shrek. I think I thought Mega Mind Two was that 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 move the uh the TV show. Didn't they have like a TV show? Like in between like 
like three 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 or four years after the movie came out i could be misremembering shark tales cat in the hat uh so funny okay i'll give you shark tales i'll give you shark tales because of will smith i don't think i don't see my thing is so like i don't know i don't know i don't know about cat in the hat i don't think i don't i don't remember watching cat in the hat i don't think i've watched cat in the hat if i'm if i'm not mistaken I don't think I watched Cat in the Hat. Madagascar 2 is generational. Yes, I will 100% agree with you on that one. Madagascar 2, Madagascar 3? No, Madagascar 2 is over Madagascar 3 by miles. By miles, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Cause that's the scene, that's the that's the movie that had the 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 the, the, the hippo scene, right? Where the nigga was like, the, the, like they had the hippo, the women hippos on the uh in the like the little jacuzzi area and the niggas like <laughs> bro that one that one that one that that shit was funny as hell bro that's that that's a memorable moment bro madagascar had a great run madagascar did have a great run bro i ain't gonna lie to you but the penguins movie oh no the penguins movie no nah, no nah. the penguins movie was actually fire the penguin movie was actually fire bro I don't know why I love them little them little niggas. I love them little niggas, bro. Them little penguins niggas is funny as hell, bro. You watch the penguin show with your little brother. I remember they had a show too. I remember they had a show, but I, I they had a they had a movie right between. I think it was between uh what you call it. I forgot. I forgot what it was. It was like a movie between like the two Madagascar. I, I think it was between Madagascar two and Madagascar three. If I'm not mistaken, Road to El Dorado. Um, I don't remember that. That's the animated one, right? I didn't really watch a lot of their animated shit. You say you used to love the show as a kid, but I can't find it anymore. Yeah, I don't think they. I think they. I think. I think they took it off, bro. I had to watch Shrek Two and Shrek Three on on Peacock, and Shrek One was on Netflix. I'm like, bro, what's going on here? Spirit is DreamWorks, no? Spirit's the one with the uh uh horse, right? I think so. B movie? Oh man, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, y'all might hate me for this one. I think B movie is top top two. If I'm gonna be honest, I think B movie. And and let me know if I'm tripping, but I think B movie might be top two, top three. If I'm gonna be honest, if I'm gonna be honest, it's top two, top three. If I'm gonna be honest, if I'm gonna be honest, if you know, you know, that whole movie is just too fire, bro. You said I only watched B movie once as a child. I mean, so did I. I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't gonna lie. Also, like it was, it was that remember. No, that's a lie. I did rewatch it. I did rewatch it like three, three times. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause I just had to watch the scene. I just had to watch the end scene. Ants. Okay, see. I knew niggas was gonna say ants. I'm not going to lie, cause I know that's one of their first shits. I have to go rewatch it, but I'm pretty sure that aged nasty. I'm not gonna lie to you, like it aged bad. Can't remember a single thing. You don't remember in B movie where the like the when they the whole landing scene, or when the the mom scene. Like, come on, bro. Over the hedge. Okay, see now you're trying to be a contrarian. Now you're trying to be a contrarian. No disrespect to Over the Hedge. I thought Over the I thought Over the Hedge was good. No, 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 no. Hear me out. Over the Hedge was good, but it wasn't like it's not up there with B movie and shit, bro. Home with Rihanna. That movie had you crying. Okay. I'm glad you said that. I'm about to get hate. I thought Home was was mid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. You got monsters over aliens? Was it monster versus aliens? But then I'm like, that shit was fire. Then home came out. I'm like, what is we doing? Open season was heat. See, they don't want to. They don't want to talk about it though. Fishy day. He, he, my brother. What? It had Riri. I know it had Rihanna. Ice Age had Drake and Nicki Minaj. You don't see me saying that it's fire. Ice Age has sh had Drake and Nicki Minaj. Y'all don't see me saying it's fire. I know it had Riri. I don't give a f about that. 
I thought the show, I thought the movie was at most mid. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just be honest. That's what I'm saying. Monsters vs. Aliens was ee. You loved Home and Boss Baby. You rewatched whenever you can. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you Boss Baby. I thought Boss Baby was decent. Boss Baby was actually decent. Home, I just like, I don't know, bro. Like, hold on. I don't know, bro, because I thought Home was just like, eh. It was alright, bro. It was, it was, it was alright, bro. You don't even remember Monsters vs. Aliens? Oh, nah, see, now you tripping. Now you tripping. Monsters vs. Aliens was fire, bro. Bad guys? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm one of them niggas. Bad guys to me was okay. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. I'ma be honest. I'ma be honest. It was it was it was it was I feel like they was like I feel like they was trying to copy him, bro. I think that I think they were trying to copy other movies. Young Sheldon Peak. I'm not watching Young Sheldon. Mr. Peabody and Sherman. I thought that was pretty good, but I think the reason why I didn't like that one, because I think that one reminded me of uh that other movie that came like came out around Shrek 2, I think it was. I think it was called Meet the Robinsons, right? It was called Meet the Robinsons. That's what it kind of reminded me of. I know it's not the same, but that's kind of what it reminded me of. That's what it kind of reminded me of. How to Train Your Dragon. I'm a big How to Train Your Dragon fan. I ain't going to lie to you. How to Train Your Dragon is probably also top two, in my opinion. If I'm going to keep it a bug. If I'm going to keep it a bug. If I'm going to keep it a bug. Turbo. Chicken Little. Turbo. Turbo was basically cars, but with slugs. I didn't I didn't care for that movie, I'm gonna be honest. But Chicken Little I've seen Chicken Little, but I don't remember Chicken Little. Wallace and Gromit. Okay, see now, DC, you know, you know ball. Wallace and Gromit, maybe because I'm a I'm a big I'm a look, I love I love like I'm a big I'm a big fan of like uh claymation. I love Wallace and Gromit. Just for the claymation only, though. And that's the same thing with Chicken Run. Chicken Run was 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 uh, hilarious. Hilarious. Turbo was ass. That's what I'm saying. Turbo was literally just Cars 3. If we're going to really be honest. <laughs> if we're going to be honest. Like, if we're really going to have that co conversation. Tur Turbo is literally Cars 3. Just a worse version of Cars 3. If we're really going to be honest. The guy who created Wallace and Gromit is from your city. Oh, now you just dox yourself. There's a bench, uh, there's a bench with Wallace and Gromit statue here. Damn, that's crazy. Ain't he the same guy that made Chicken Run though? Ain't he the, ain't he the same? Oh wait, I forgot. Oh wait, niggas forgot about Kung Fu Panda. How the fuck y'all forget about Kung Fu Panda? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. How do niggas forget about Kung Fu Panda, bro? How do niggas forget about Kung Fu Panda, bro? The Curse of the Rare Rabbit. Okay, you gotta remind me what that is. Is that a? Is that a? Because I don't know why I automatically thought of uh, the uh, Raving Rabbits for some reason. It sounds familiar though. That's Wallace and Gromit too, right? How do niggas? How do niggas forget about Kung Fu Panda, bro? It's claymation. I I might have seen it. I don't know. I might have seen. It. I think because like when it comes to claymation, I've done seen almost everything that I could pos that. You could pro probably see. I do, it sounds familiar, but I don't remember. I don't remember it. I don't because I, I feel like there has to be like a special or some shit, bruh. Kung Fu Panda One is generational, but I need to rewatch two. I'm gonna be honest. You're not wrong on that. On that, you're not wrong on that. Kung Fu Panda Two was the best one, following by three and then one. Okay, I don't know. I can't agree with that. Cause do niggas not for niggas forgot about Kung Fu Panda had. Kung Fu Panda One had the 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 two two of the best fights, in my opinion. It had the one it had uh uh what's his name Master Uguay versus uh Tai Long, and then that's when and that's when the Kung Fu, that's when that's when Poe fought Tai Long. What do you mean? I don't remember what happens in, in two. Don't he fight like some armadillo nigga? Kung Fu Panda Four was trash. Okay, now yeah, I can agree with you on that one. Also, Bolt was peak.
I know you're not talking about the dog one, right? Bolt was tough. This one's tough to y'all. Bolt was cool. The fat hamster was funny. Now, nah, let me put them on the screen real quick. Y'all thought this man was cool? Oh, damn. Exposed myself. Exposed myself, bro. Exposed myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all thought this, y'all thought this man was cool? What screen? Bruh, I'm gonna be honest. Y'all might hate me for this. Y'all know the crypto, the crypto, the crypto, uh, movie that came out, uh, not the, not like cryptocurrency, but the crypto super, super man movie. I'm going to be honest. I might have that movie over above this. If I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to be honest, I think Bolt was cool. I think Bolt was cool. I don't know, bro. I don't think it was like all that. In my opinion. I don't think it was all that, bro. I don't think it was all that. bro. Maybe I'm misremembering. Hold on. Give me a scene from Bolt that you thought was fire. Maybe I'm mis maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm misremembering. Wait, Miley Cyrus is in this movie? Oh hell no. Nah. Not a movie with Miley Cyrus. Not a movie from Miley Cyrus. You watched that movie like 20 times? How? When I think of movies that I watched 20 times. Shit, it might have to be like. Also, I'm gonna be honest. This Captain Underpants movie was trash. I'm gonna be honest. This Captain Underpants movie was trash. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not because I hate Kevin Kevin Hart or anything. But this movie was trash. The Crods. I thought the Crods was good. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like a lot of people hate the Crods though. I ain't gonna lie to you. The Crods. I like the Crods. I ain't gonna lie to you. If I had to pick a movie that I probably watched a hundred times, it might have to be. Kung Fu Panda, one. How to Train a Dragon, one. If I'm going to be honest. And then maybe Madagascar, two, probably. If I'm going to be honest. And then put, and then put some boots, bruh. I ain't going to lie to you. Put some boots. The Last Wish probably is the best. If we're going to be honest, the best looking movie got to be Put Some Boots The Last Wish. If I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to be honest. Don't trash on Cap uh, Captain Underpants. That movie was ass. That movie, Captain Underpants was ass. I'm sorry. That movie was not like, that movie was not good. I'm sorry. You watched Flushed Away and Shark Tale, Puss in Boots, and Madagascar a bunch. See, I can, I can vow, look, look, because no disrespect. I also think Flushed Away was a, a gem. I think a lot of people hated on Flushed Away. But is it like, is it like million, million times watched, like, like, is it up there for that? Shark Tales, I'll give you. Puss in Boots, I'll give you. Madagascar, I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you that one. Flushed Away? I'm going to have to rewatch Flushed Away. Should I rewatch Flushed Away? I'm going to have to rewatch it, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I was like, Mr. What? Bean. And then I was like, what the fuck huh? is Mr. Bean? And then uh, I got a little bored. Who are these people y'all talking about? about? Anyway, why y'all? Why I feel like y'all cursing Joe. me? Huh? Huge Why you hiring me? Love you. I don't know who Mr. Bean is. Get back here, you you sick, revolting, loathsome little. You don't know who Mr. Bean? I don't know who Mr. I don't know who Mr. Bean is. Dogs. No fucking way. Oh my god, here we go. Nigga, what? I just screamed. I hate. I hated Mr. Bean. You're the only one in the world. I'll never let them. Oh my god, here we go. You don't know who Mr. Bean is. You don't know. But if I name somebody, you're like, huh, 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 huh? Who the fuck is Mr. Bean? Are y'all talking about Killer Bean? Like the like the Killer Bean? Is that who y'all talking about? Y'all talking about Killer Bean, right? I couldn't watch Johnny English because I uh, I didn't want to see Mr. Bean talking. Mr. Bean is an icon. You're literally the only person on earth who doesn't know. Mr. Bean is a man. All right, let me see, bro. Mr. Bean has so much aura. Clearly, he didn't. If I don't know who he is, must be aura, aura list, bro. 
Mr. Bean? Who the fuck is this nigga? Yeah, I don't know who this nigga is. I'm sorry. This must be like a... Oh, of course. It's a British sitcom. Of course I wouldn't know who this is. This nigga... This nigga is British. This nigga is British. Of course I wouldn't know who the fuck this man is. Of course I wouldn't know who this is. Who the fuck is this goofy ass looking nigga, bro? It's goofy ass nigga, bro. This British ass man. Americans know? Fishy, do you know who you do you know who Mr. Bean is? But he's a he's a, he's internationally known though. You do? Damn. So I'm really the only one. His cartoon was fire. Watch a video of his uh, his is hilarious. Send me one. Send me one. He had a movie in America? I did not I've never seen it. I have never seen it. And first of all, first of all, y'all can't get on me. First of all, wait, hold on. Let me ask, let me okay, let me ask y'all a question. Actually, no, let me ask let me ask AO a specific question, because he's it's gonna relate to what I'm what I'm gonna get allude to. AO, do you know do you know Lizzie McGuire? Do you know Lizzie McGuire? Probably, probably most known celebrity in the world, Mr. Bean <laughs> over Michael Jackson. Oh hell no! Nah. I know she had a show, never seen it. Nick, do you know Don uh, Roman or El, Ch El, Ch El Chivo? I know El Chivo, but I don't know who Don Roman is. I know who El Chivo is. You gotta remember, I, you, yeah, I know who El Chivo is, bro. I know who that is. I don't know who, who, who Don Roman is. I don't know who Don Roman is, but I do know who El Chivo is, bro. He's in the show? Mr. Wait, Mr. Bean's in... Mr. Bean's in the show? This nigga. This nigga. Oh, oh, oh. I was about to say, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> see, now you're confusing me. <laughs> now you're, now you're, yeah, now you see, like, now, now you're confusing me. No, 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 no. The reason why I asked him, because I watched an interview with Pink Panthers, and she said she didn't know who Lizzie McGuire was, but she knows, uh, uh, wait, what's the fuck her name is again? Hold on. <laughs> what's the, who's the girl who plays her again? Um, uh, she she doesn't know who she knows Hillary Duff, but she doesn't know who Lizzie McGuire. Is. So that's like that's why I'm saying like y'all getting mad at me for not knowing who the fuck Mr. Bean is. I'm like, bro, who the fuck is Mr. Bean? I never heard of Mr. Bean, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a British show. I didn't know he had a show in America. I'm pretty sure y'all had. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure y'all had. You know what I'm saying? Disney. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. I don't blame her though. So why y'all gonna blame? So y'all don't blame me for not knowing who the fuck Mr. Bean is. So y'all not gonna blame me for not knowing who Mr. Bean is. So I don't get I don't get no sympathy for not knowing who Mr. Bean is because y'all was blowing up my spot, bro. I didn't know who the fuck Mr. Bean was. In the UK, you have to pay for stuff like Nickelodeon, Disney, and shit. You have to pay for that here too. For certain, well, it depends on what kind of uh, cable company you had. Niggas had it. I didn't. I didn't have. I didn't have this. I didn't have Nickelodeon, and Disney, and shit. I had to go to like niggas' houses and shit for that. I'm pretty sure I told y'all this. I had to go. We didn't get cable until like maybe like I don't know when I was in junior high, probably type shit or like dead like close to high school. Niggas was stealing that shit allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. I'm not saying like it happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that it happened. I'm just saying allegedly, you know, we were siphoning channels off of neighbors type shit. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? But even then, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas can, you know what I'm saying? We got the internet now. I know about the shows. Uh, still, I was in, a, in my teenage, uh, uh, in my teens. Before I watch a lot of uh, those shows, that's what I'm saying. Like I like the only shows that I know, like off like Rip. If 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 it was like shows like, well, clearly SpongeBob is one of them. Sp SpongeBob, I feel like everybody knows SpongeBob off Rip, bro. If we're gonna be honest, like SpongeBob is definitely the first one. Like, if I'm gonna be honest, because it sounds for 
It's Hey Jesse, right? What the who the fuck is Debbie Ryan? Who the fuck is Debbie Ryan? Who the fuck is that? Why why did they pop nigga? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks mad familiar. I don't think I've ever watched this. I don't think I ever watched this. But I it does look recognizable. Like it does it does like it does seem familiar. It does seem familiar. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think I've ever watched this though. Sky Jackson? Oh. You love a good Texas tea stream. This man. The black guy, yes, and he literally wrote us uh, news by SZA. See what Hollywood. Oh, well, I can't even say what you see, bro. You didn't really like Hey Jesse. Was Hey Jesse bad? Cameron Boincy. Oh, that yeah, I, yeah. I I know who that is. That's the that's the that's the the, the was he light skin? I forgot. That's the kid. That, that's the one I I remember when he passed away. Type shit. Wasn't that like two years? Was that like two or three years ago? You had a crush on Sky. You still got a crush on uh, Shorty? Gotcha. Nick a burger. Right. That was your brother? Rip my brother. Yeah, he was light-skinned? Yeah, rip to that man, bruh. It wasn't bad, but I just never enjoyed it like other shows. Like, how would... Okay, how would y'all compare Hey Jesse to, like... Same with Drake and Josh? Okay, yeah, well, I'm gonna be honest. Y'all know me. I don't like Drake and Josh. I don't care for Drake and Josh. I never th thought Drake and Josh was funny. Like, on a scale to, like, one to, like, not even a scale. Compared, what, what show is, like, closely to this? It's, like, Wizard of Waverly. Is this, like, Wizards of Waverly Place, like, type of, like, level of comedy? Or is it, like, like, where is this at? Where is this at? Like, you could tell it, it's good, but just not for you. Gotcha. It's, Jesse, Jesse was mid. Gotcha. Not like Wizards. I never cared for Pedos and Josh. <laughs> you like the Moxie show? What the fuck is the Moxie show? Jesse was mid, but Sky made it worth watching. Mm. So is this like on the Thunderman's level? Is this like on Thunderman's level? Like, like it's like Thunderman's level, or is it like worse? The niggas, okay, real talk. The niggas really, okay. Do niggas really hate the Thunderman's, or is it because there's so many? Is it so many iterations of the Thundermans? Is why niggas don't fuck with it. Shake It Up it was a better uh, comedy than this. Wait, what is Shake It Up? Wait, what's Shake It Up? It's just a little bit better. Gotcha. You fuck with the Thundermans? Thundermans wasn't bad. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed the Thundermans. I ain't gonna lie to you. At least, the, at least before, you know, tomfoolery happened. You know what I mean? The Thundermans was okay. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Oh, Shake It Up was Zendaya? Okay, see, now you're gonna kill me. You're going to kill me. I've never watched this. I've never watched this show. I've never watched this. I know niggas. I, I know. I Look, I know. I know. This was introduction to every, Zendaya, everybody to Zendaya the first. I've never watched this show. I'm sorry. I've never watched this show. I never watched this show. Matter of fact, I don't remember the first time I ever even seen Zendaya. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I've ever. I don't even remember the first like thing I've ever seen Zendaya in. You never seen this either. Okay, so I'm not alone with that. You watched all these shows when you when you was in daycare. How the fuck you remember? How the fuck you remember this? Thing? <laughs> you never re liked reality shows. I only watched Kick Butt Bukowski. Oh my god, that's a that's a cut right there. And and Gravity Falls on Disney XD, bro. Niggas do not know about Kick Buck Bukowski, bro. That's sh <laughs> now that's a that show that show that show was that show was you know what I'm saying that show that show has has some, bro. You miss a lot of those Zendaya shows. Uh, I'll be real. I'm gonna be honest. I've never. I don't even remember the first Zendaya show I've ever seen. In my opinion, to this day, I don't know why I had to go to daycare when I and. I could take care of myself, but I had a lots of good memories. Nigga, how the fuck are you gonna take care of yourself when you're fucking three years old, bitch? How'd that make any sense? You five, you five, six, seven, eight years old. How you gonna take care of yourself, little nigga? How'd that make any sense? How? Kicking it with the waging with the waging kids. Oh lord. Gravity Falls theme scared you. I okay, and and I asked people, is that the next show that I need to watch? Because that's a show I've never seen. I've never watched Gravity Falls. You was like 
11 to 13 in daycare. Nigga, why are you in daycare? Wait, why are you in daycare in 11 to 13? What? Niggas, do they have boys and girls club? Ant Farm was funny as fuck, too. I was watching clips of it earlier. Wait, Ant Farm's the one with, um... That's the other Sky Jackson show, right? Or am I tripping? Gravity Falls has peaked to you. Did you watch some random, uh... Or a Sunny with a Chance? That's the show with the, uh... Oh, yeah, China McLean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have never seen that one. I haven't seen that one. I never, I never, I, I, I've never, that's another one I haven't seen. I think the first mo show I've ever seen her in was, un unfortunately, uh, Black Lightning, which, not gonna lie, not her best debut, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> not her best debut, if I'm gonna be honest. Because we was living in a bad neighborhood and your mom didn't want, want you to walk home. When you mean daycare, do you mean like daycare, like YMCA, like, or like a boys and girls club? Or is it was like a legit like daycare where where children were like ch like children children yeah okay see you should have phrased it like that why do you say daycare because when I think of daycare I think of like children like you know toddlers like you know what I'm saying like like three to five years old like you know what I'm saying like like you know what I mean like like you're a literal like toddler there was toddlers there though I mean but like at least like with a YMCA or like a boys and girls club that makes more sense. Like a a strict like a strict daycare is like I feel like a daycare is like like it's like from the ages three to three to seven, like you know what I'm saying. Once you once you once you like in fourth and fifth grade, like you too old for a daycare. I'm sorry, like you too old. I'm sorry, you gotta upgrade to the big boys. It was a YMCA type shit. Okay, I was about to say like you know what I mean that's understandable. Let's see that makes more sense. I feel like there. I feel like a lot of niggas was in the YMCA's bad. You know, I was about to say bad boys club. <laughs> Imagine they had a bad boys club. <laughs> Yo, I meant boys and girls club. <laughs> Bro, wait, I have an idea. Wait, what if they had like a bad boys club for like for like for like teenagers, bro? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Bad Boys Club Middle School Edition would be fire. <laughs> nah, honestly, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Let's not act like y'all would not watch that. Let's not act like y'all would not watch that. Let's be real. I love making kids fight. They actually be so aggressive. See, now you are a problem. You're a thousand percent watching that. Let's be real. Let's act like y'all not watching Bad Boys Club, like <laughs> middle school edition, high school edition. That would be funny as fuck. I'm not going to lie. That would be hilarious. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Let's be real, dude. Come on, bro. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But no, no, no. Boys and girls. It was. I meant. I meant to say boys and girls club, bro. High school and middle school additions would be comp, bro. That would be funny as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Them after them after school, like, like, okay, real quick. How many of y'all like had to do like an after school, like had to go through like a half after school like program type shit where you had like you know what I'm saying like you couldn't like be home by yourself type shit like you had to do like something like that during some church events. Kids jumped. Jump, jumping me sometimes all i could do is uh pick them up and swing them swing 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 them around ain't gonna lie fishy that's why you got to bring a gun i did the first time i got oh oh yeah gotcha i didn't have to go but i wanted to because i was bored i'm gonna be honest i don't know i mean i get it i get it bro only occasionally in primary school the reason why i ask because i'm like to be fair, I also gotta remember half the shit I also watched like in like Boys and Girls Club YMCA, like all these different after school program type shit. I gotta say it's always good chatting uh with you, uh spilling the Texas tea. What does that even mean, spilling the Texas tea? I don't even have tea. I only have ice in a lemon. And my ice already melted. You stop going once you hit middle school. I think I think once I like I didn't stop going until after I hit high school. I ain't gonna lie to you. Maybe because I was a troubled child, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
You watched all those shows when you was in uh, after school programs? Yeah, I like I watched like I watched a good chunk of these shows like more at like cousins' houses and shit. But I do remember like when I went to the boys and girls club, I did like I think we watched like movies. That was it. Cause I think the first movie I watched like there was like uh I think it was um I forgot what movie it was. It was some like it was some Disney movie. I forgot. I'm, was it Lilo and Stitch? I think it was Lilo and Stitch. I think the first time I ever seen Lilo and Stitch was like, like at one of those places. But to be fair, the first time I ever went. Now nah, I ain't gonna lie. I do have a story time though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause the first time I ever been to like an after school daycare type shit, whatever. I remember the first time I went to it, and no lie, I got into like three fights. I got into like three fights. I don't know why niggas. I don't know why niggas just like decided they like wanted to test a nigga. I always got like I got into it for the first. I was just minding my own business. I got pressed by by some kid with like a big ass snuggle tooth. I'm talking about half his teeth was gone this side. He had one tooth and a, a little dangly tooth right here, like type shit. Like, and then he for some reason felt like some type of way. Like he had to. Now to be fair though, he was a he was a he was a trouble child i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie he was a trouble child nigga had half his his shave i ain't gonna lie to you no lie i promise you no lie i promise you no lie half head shave missing teeth nigga stank i ain't gonna lie to you i felt kind of bad but for some reason that man was not trying to let me play with some with some blocks man was not trying to let me play with some blocks and he started you know what i'm saying he just started throwing shit at me i ain't gonna lie to you I ain't gonna lie to you. Man started tripping out of nowhere. I, when we talk about crash outs, that man was crashing out, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because I remember I, I, he threw a block at me. I threw the block back. Chairs was flying. That's all I'm gonna say. Chairs was flying, and it was up, bro. Chairs was flying, and it was up, bro. I don't know what teed that man off, bro. To be fair, he also tried to set me on fire, but that's a different story for that. Anyway, with that being said, though, <laughs> I don't do that WC. I swear to God, back I swear to God, Dizzy was just choosing any random ball nigga, bro, to play as a father, bro. Let's be let's be real, bro. I swear to God, Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy was just picking any ball nigga. Like <laughs> they was picking any ball nigga to play as a dad, bro. Like dead ass. If you really a ball nigga with a, with a, with a beard. That's literally just that's just a, a Disney dad, bro. A Disney black dad, bro. Your favorite ball Disney dad is Raven's dad. Oh yeah, for sure he's the goaded. He's he's goaded, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, but it's, I feel like because he's just he's just goofy though. <laughs> he was funny facts, bro. I promise you, like if you look at any nigga dad in any Disney show, it's always an old black like bald nigga. Not old, but like it's always a bald man. Like why, bro? Raven's dad. This nigga dad, I forgot the other, what's the other show they had? Like, bro, any dad, bro, like, honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. Except for that one show, I forgot. They had that one show where one of the niggas, like, his dad was, like, white or some shit. And it was, like, it didn't make no sense type shit. I don't remember. Anyway.